Hey everybody, welcome back to the NNS CRA XI Batteries Truck Series. We're here at the Kansas Speedway for race number four of the season for the running of the SFP 250. And we should have a really great, exciting race in today around Kansas Speedway. Our poster today is Steven Gonzalez of the 22 on the outside of him. It's a 9 of Taylor Orndorff. And then you see row 2 is the 43 of Michael Dawson and the 11 of Charles Jackson. And in your third row is Cole Fralick in the 21 and Dylan Pochi in the 31. And we got to point out a couple of driver changes in the series, starting off with the 23. Austin LaPlante is no longer the driver. Zach Buchanan is now the driver of the 23. He'll be taking over as long as he comments, which the commenting rule is still in play in all my series. So he took over from the raging Austin LaPlante. So Zach Buchanan is the new driver of the 23. He will not carry over the points I decided from what Austin had earned in the first three races since it's still early. So Zach's starting scratch from nothing. So. He's behind three races, but it shouldn't be a big deal unless he can just get on a roll. We'll see what happens throughout the season. That's just how it goes because I can't just guarantee people points over and over because I've done it a lot. And the other new driver, what happened recently, was with the ban of Connor Germain in my series. I know this is not PLRWC, but that was my decision. Samuel Mills is the new driver of the four uh, truck, so he will also start from scratch in points as well. So we'll see how they do. And so let me get the camera ready. We'll get the row or the field rolling across. This is a 26 slapper for the SFP 250. Steven Gonzalez looking for his first win ever in my series in any of my series. He hasn't won yet. He's been close in both in all the series he's in. As the field rolls by, take a look at all the trucks. Let's take a look at today's starting line at four, the SFP 250. Stay tuned. back and Steven Gonzalez, Taylor Orndorff on the front row. Taylor Orndorff has been actually a great qualifier lately in the, in the series that he's in. Just uh, not counting the PRWC series. He's not in my Nationwide series but he is in the Cup series and he's in this series and he's he was the poster of the last two Cup races not having the results he wanted but he started up front at Martinsville so let's see if he can pull it off today. Green flag is out. We're racing here at Kansas. Got a Dodge, Chevy, Ford, Toyota start top four. I just realized. Oh, we're going three wide in the corner already. Gonzalez is not going to be able to hang on to the lead. It looks like Taylor Orndorff now going to get kicked out all the way to the top. Got to be careful. It can get crazy here. Michael Dawson's already making a move to the front, and I can't believe they're going three wide. Oh, Co Fralix not waiting. He's going to the inside, and Co Fralix going to take the lead in the 21. Coming out of the RCR stable. Teammate Danny Wells already won a race this season. Fralix gonna lead the first lap after starting fifth. Now Jack Ridge is gonna take his turn to the front. Adrian Becker and Barney Ward are following suit. Now Becker slips through the middle. Her car just slid up, or her truck, I should say. Let's look around what's going on in the back. There's Alexander and Dawson. There's a tale of two stories. One Dawson in the front, one in the back. Cody Lawrence Becker, Joseph Bryan is. There's Max Skinner in the middle, Dylan Young. There's one of Cole Fralick's teammates Megan Quinn, who's right ahead of James Qualls, is 99 for F Series. There's Danny Wells, the Martinsville winner. Matthew Rodriguez, he struggled lately. He had a bad race at Rockingham. Actually, uh, the last race, I should say. Yeah, it was Rockingham, never mind. There's Zach Buchanan, he's going to try to work his way up slowly, just take his time. Looking for some other drivers. Sam Young on the top side with Ryan Gonzalez, Seth Cole on the bottom following Eric Burden, Seth Cole. And an SRA president. Sean Henley up top following Trent Dunham, who's stuck behind Jessica Lawrence. There's Ralph Green right beside his buddy Trent Dunham. I think Trent just flipped him off. I'm not sure. Jacob Rodriguez right there in the 16. Michael Crosby is behind Charles Jackson. There's Dylan Pote. Steven Gonzalez, the poster. There's Cole Fralick. You got the four, Samuel Mills. Following Luke Martin. There's Mike Becker. Ken Johnson up behind the 08. Aaron Williams stuck in the middle behind Michael Dawson. Matt Wells up top, Justin Perry, 
the winner from Rockingham. Brody Banta is battling Ben Ward, I believe, for second place. Oh, no, they're a little bit behind. That is for eighth place. Brian Duke, seventh. And Connor Breen, sixth. Red Bell is in fifth. David Byrne, fourth. Jack Raiders, third. Taylor Orndorff, second. And Barney Ward finds himself leading here in the 51 car. Well, shut, I should say. That Toyota was pretty fast today. Just starting to space out now. Let's see if we get some clean racing. Oh, I just saw the yellows flashing. We have a caution out. Don't know where the caution It might be near the back. Barney Ward's going to win back to the line. Oh, Taylor Orndorff just about got hit by Jack Richards. But Barney Ward is the leader. Let's see. Oh, and Aaron Williams' front end is destroyed on that Silverado. And I believe he's the only one involved in that. I have a bad feeling it might have involved one of his teammates, Matt Wills. He had a little bit of damage. Aaron Williams looks like he's going to be having a short stay here in Kansas. This is There's no place like Kansas. Nope, that's not the case for today for Aaron Williams. He wants to be anywhere but in Kansas. Probably back in Los Angeles in his hometown. <laughs> Aaron Williams, unfortunately, will be sent home early today. We're going to check out what happened to Williams' 33 Chevy as Barney Ward's the leader. And the, we're under the first caution of the day. Let's see what happened to Aaron Williams. Now, this is the prior lap. And... Aaron Williams is three wide between Luke Martin and his teammate Matt Wells. And come in this corner. They're almost four wide. Here comes Samuel Mills. Oh, the 17 squeezed Aaron Williams up into Matt Wells. That Matt Wells is at fault right there. Well, not really at fault. He was just in the wrong place, wrong time. So 17, the 33 just got too close. You can't go four wide in the corners, boys and girls. Just that's not going to work here at Kansas. That's what happened to Aaron Williams. Matt Wells just in the wrong place, wrong time. Bad luck right there for teammates. Luke Martin had the four car under him. Four car is a new driver, Samuel Mills. So that's what happened there. Just Samuel Mills just sticking his nose down there, but the 17 was there with racing, and then he had two RCR trucks on the outside, so there wasn't much they could do. Aaron Williams, they looks like it's done early. We'll be take you back for the restart, and Boy Wars your leader once again. So we'll be back after this. All right, we're back, and we got less than a lap to go until we go back to green flag and there was a broken header on the 33 car of Aaron Williams but he has sustained too much damage for repair and he is done for the day Aaron Williams will get last place today tough break just got in a situation four wide and his teammate was on the outside of him it wasn't Matt Wells fault it was just a racing deal right there Matt Wells continued on but he has some damage 27 truck will probably be slow tough break for a couple RCR trucks green flag is out for Barney Ward got a couple drivers needing a good run Barney Ward He's, I'm not, actually I don't know the top of my head where he is in points. He, I mean a win would help anyway. Taylor Orndorff needs a good run. Jack Richards looking for a win. There's David Burden. Now Connor Breen's going to take fifth away from Red Bell. Ryan Jukes helping her, but they're not getting anything on the high side. Here comes Brody Banta in the 09, the Toyota Tundra. And he's sponsored by Toyota. He's up there. There is Ben Ward. He's up there in the top. Good, good day for the Ward brothers. They're doing a really good job. And look at Samuel Mills. This is the best run I think I've seen the four truck have all season long. And this is in his debut. I've had history in my series of somebody debuting and winning in my race. Look at Eric Burton in my Cup Series. He won at Texas in his debut when he took over the 40 car. It's possible. Samuel Mills is going to try to win in this debut. And don't count out the other new driver back in the 23. Which we, I don't know where he's at. Uh, there's Zach Buchanan. He's 23rd on the restart. He's trying to work his way back up the field separate a lot after that restart and there was our post sitter Steven Gonzalez he had dropped back he's, there, he's in 20th place right now I guess that 22 truck just had some speed for qualifying doesn't look like he had the race trim down it could be a long day for that team his teammate Jack Richards is up there running good and their other teammate that kind of got alliance with them is the 19 truck I pretty much put the 19 in the Penske organization for practice last he owned it in real life I just decided to put it in there Look, I don't know where the 19's at. Jessica Lawrence, there she is. There's the third Penske truck, I would say, since it's not many Dodges. So, Jessica Lawrence right now, back in the 30th position, behind Dylan Pochi, who started up front as well. He started about six. Trent Dunham's not really worked his way up. He's in the pack as well. Ooh, James Paul is stuck in the middle. Oh, Cody Lamas, oh my. Oh, Steven Gonzalez goes up and scrapes the wall. Cody Lamas forced James Paul up into Steven Gonzalez, but I think Michael Cosby was below him. That could have been disaster right there. We could have saw the same wreck that we saw earlier with Aaron Williams and Matt Wells, but they hung on. Steven Gonzalez was the person who lost on that deal. 
He's going to drop almost down into the 30s now. And he was 23rd last time by. Losing more positions. There's Danny Wells back here. He's in the back with his one of his teammates, Megan Quinn. Couple in there, Matt Wells. So right now, RCR has four trucks in the back. I believe that's all the trucks. Oh, Cole Fralick's the other one. I don't know where Cole Fralick is. We're going back up to the front, though. We've fired around the back for a while. And the leader is Jack Richards. He's taking the lead from Barney Ward. Third place is now Samuel Mills. Fourth is Ryan Juke. Fifth is David Burton. Brody Banta has six for now, but here comes Ben Ward. He's in seventh. Adrian Becker is eighth. Luke Martin makes recovery in ninth. And Cole Fralick, the other RCR truck that we documented, he's in tenth. He's holding the banner for them today. There's Michael Dawson and Ralph Greenbaugh in 11th and 12th. Eric Burton, Jacob Rodriguez. There's Justin Perry. Ken Johnson. We got three wide back here. Red Bell, she was in the, she restarted, I believe, fifth place. She's outside the top 15 now. Eight trucks starting to slip. Taylor Orndorff, right behind her on the on the high side, the nine truck. He restarted second, and he's going to be fairly inside the top 20 now. Here comes Alexander Dawson, who started dead last today. That time by he was 21st, and Taylor Orndorff actually dropped out of the top 20. That nine truck, not good today, it looks like. Justin Perry slid up. Here comes Mike Becker and Alexander Dawson. If you hear anything in the background, my TV's on. It's old wrestling, just so I have some background to listen to. So if you hear any random screaming from Jerry Lawler, you know who it is. <laughs> anyway, Barney Ward's taking the lead back from Jack Richard, who slid up high. Here, look who's in second place, Samuel Mills. Now he's in second. We have 10 laps to go now, too. Barney Ward's leading. I don't think anything else happened. Oh, Matt Wells on the opposite turn. I thought he was in turn two. He's in turn four. I don't know if I'm going to catch Matt Wells, who is a slow car. we got a battle for third. Here comes Ryan Juke to the inside of Jack Richards. Had a pretty clean race today. The only wreck we had was that wreck with Aaron Williams and Matt Wells. So it's been a really clean day compared to my cup race. It's been some great racing we've seen. And we got a battle for the lead. Here comes Daniel Mills trying to get up the lead for the first time in his career. Trying to go to the inside of Barney Ward. 51 truck has been strong today. Probably the best truck today. And the four car, or the four truck just flew by Barney right there. And now, give the lead to Samuel Mills. And here comes Ryan Juke. We got a couple of guys looking to make a name for himself. Leader, and you got Barney Ward trying to make a name for himself in my series. And then you got Ryan Juke. Newcomer in my Cup series. He's in this series. He was in my PRWC series as well. So Ryan Juke trying to get up there, trying to get his first career win. Trying to make an early statement in that 62 truck, the Brendan Gaughan South Point truck. He went way up the hill to get around Barney, and Barney's going to come back. Jack Richards now back to fourth. Good run today for Brody Vance. Need a good run. He's in fifth place right now. Actually, he's battling. I think the yellow was out. Was it out? Yeah, the yellow flag is out for the second time. Looks like Samuel Mills is going to easily win back to the line. we got a battle for second. Ryan Juke has it, and he's going to hang on. So this might set up for a one last restart. We have one more caution. And Steven Gonzalez is involved. Bad day to be a yellow and red truck, apparently, because that's the second one to go down. Steven Gonzalez, the pole sitter, has been involved in a wreck. Kind of looks just like Aaron Williams' wreck. Dylan Poteet's going to pit road. He has damage. I don't think there's anybody else involved. Oh, man. A couple drivers started up in the top ten in uh, the race and everything. Dylan started six, and Steven started first. Both in trouble. Dylan just dropped out of the race. Steven Gonzalez looks like he's going to be in the same boat. Probably going to be the same situation as the first wreck, but we're under caution for the second time. Samuel Mills, your leader. We're going to have a shootout here at the end of this race. Let's check out what brought up the second caution of the day. All right. Steven Gonzalez is back here. He was 38. They're in the back. Oh, he drove way in there too far, and Dylan Potu's just minding his business up high. He's right ahead of Danny Wells and Megan Quinn. Same situation. But Steven Gonzalez just drove way too hard in there. I guess trying to make up spots because I guess he was frustrated being that far back and starting on the pole. I mean, it just looks like the same situation. Dylan Potu was just the victim there. Steven Gonzalez just trying to get anything out of that Dodge Ram Pennzoil truck, but not to be. Now him and Poteet are going to be out of the race. Tough break for Gonzalez and Poteet right there. Both done for the day. They will finish 41st and 40th. But we'll get ready for the final restart as Daniel Mills will be leading them to the restart. And we'll see what kind of finish we got. So stay tuned. Alright, we're back. We're going to have a three-lap shootout here. We're going to update the field. Dylan Pochi's out and a broken header on Steven Gonzalez. But pretty much the same situation as Aaron Williams. So those three are out of the race. Those are going to hurt him in the points big time. Samuel Mills, your leader. Ryan Juke second. Barney Ward third. Jack Richards fourth. 
Ben Ward 5th, Brody Banta 6th, Ralph Green 7th, Eric Burton 8th, Adrian Becker 9th, and David Burton rounds out your top 10. Green flag is out, three lap shootout here for Samuel Mills. Can he pull up the upset? He won his first start. Ryan Juke went straight to the high side trying to get a run. Now look what he did, he took the momentum from the high side and ducks under Samuel Mills who spoiled the rookie's party. And Ryan Juke goes to the inside to take the lead in the 62 truck. He's bringing the dominant truck of the day. Barney Ward right behind him and don't count the other truck's been up there all day. Jack Richards in the two. That Miller Lite Dodge will try to avenge his teammate Steven Gonzalez and try to pick up a victory for the captain Roger Penske today here at Kansas. Going to try to pull a Brad Kozlowski and win here in the two but not in the cup car in the truck this time. Three wide for the lead. Look at that. What a finish that would have been if that was the last lap. It would have went to Ryan Juke. And they were dead. They were tied. I don't even know how you determine who wins it. Oh! Jack Richards forced his way under there, and he's going to go for the lead. Juke's been pushed back to third. And look who came up out of nowhere in that 78 truck. Ralph Green has had terrible luck in my cup series. He's ready to get a victory. He hasn't had a victory or his name called in a long time. He's up here in contention to win. Jack Richards is clear of Barney Ward almost. They take the white flag. One lap to go for Jack Richards and the others. Ralph Green's right behind him. He has the lead now on Barney Ward. Jack Richards has a mirror for Ralph Green who slides him up the track. Ralph Green, what a veteran move by the 78 car. That driver is very smart. The winningest driver in Mountain Dew Race Series history is under Jack Richards for the lead. Look at Ben Ward rubbing doors with brother Barney back there. Green's going to be clear of Jack Richards. Can Richards get around the high side? He does. We're going to have a photo finish as they come to the line. Will it be enough for Richards? No, it won't. Ralph Green takes the SFP 250. Ralph Green steals the victory and picks up his first career in an SCRA. XF Battery's truck victory. It's been a long time since I've been able to say that, but Ralph Green is back to victory lane. Congratulations to Ralph Green, the whole Furniture Row Racing Team. That 78 truck came out of nowhere. He, he was hiding back there, pointing at Kevin Harvick. Closed the deal, took the win from Jack Richards, and he is the winner. That was a crazy finish. Jack Richards going to finish a hard fought, hard fought second. Brody Banta came out of nowhere. He was up there. He got third. Congrats to him, too. Ben Ward got a great run in fourth. Eric Burton, fifth. Barney Ward, sixth place. I know he went a lot better, but. Still a strong day for Barney Ward. He left the most laps for sure. Ryan Juke was up there. Him and Samuel Mills, eighth place in his debut. Good run for him in his debut. Those two cars were first and second on the restart. End up seventh and eighth. Cole Freilich ended up ninth. Great run for him. And David Byrne, I think, restarted tenth. He stayed tenth. You look down, you got Luke Martin, Jacob Rodriguez, Mike Becker. Seth Cole started near the back. He finished fourteenth. And then Michael Dawson, fifteenth. And the rest of your top 20, Ken Johnson, Trent Dunham, Alexander Dawson, who started last, Michael Causey, and Zach Buchanan, his debut, finishes 20th. I'm going to go down a little bit, actually go the rest of the way. And Sam Young, Dylan Young, finished 21st, 22nd. Red Bell faded to 23rd. Jessica Lawrence, 24th. Adrian Becker, 25th. Connor Breeden, Taylor Orndorff, Joseph Bryant, Charles Jackson, Matthew Rodriguez, your top 30. Then the rest of the field, Sean Henley, Max Skinner, Danny Wells, Justin Perry, Cody Lamas, James Qualls, Ryan Gonzalez, Megan Quinn, Matt Wells with the damaged car, finished 39th. Then the three cars out of the race, 40th through 42nd, Stephen Gonzalez, Dylan Poteet, and Aaron Williams. There's your results from the race. Ralph Green has won today the SFP 250 at Kansas Speedway. So race four is done, and let's go check out the standings and where we're going next. I forgot to mention that that finish was only .04 difference, so that's four one thousandths of a second. That was a close finish, one of the closest ones. That's, I think, the closest so far in the series. I think that's the only one we've had a side-by-side -side battle so far. It's only four races in, so maybe there's a chance for to break that. But four one thousandths of a second was all it was between Ralph Green and Jack Richards front ends crossing that finish line. So, still a great race overall. It was mostly clean, which I like, Just considering lately I've had some breakfast and I don't like it either. And I've had people tell me, Mike Becker, that it was bad. And I apologize for that again. But uh, I will have it fixed. And hopefully it will be more like this series. It just happens sometimes. Oh, got to say, the next race is at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. That will be the North Carolina 
Education Lottery 200, and should be a good one. That'd be a 21 lapper at Ralph Shaw at Motor Speedway, and Ralph Green's a points leader by 69 points. Yes, Sean Henley, you can laugh now because it says 69. Jack Richards, who finished second, that's kind of odd that the cars that finished one-two in the race are now one-two in points. But uh, anyway, we continue down. Ben Ward is third. Luke, Mar Luke Martin is fourth. Alexander Dawson is fifth. Michael Dawson sixth. Good run for the Dawsons right now. Matt Wells seventh. I believe he was up higher in the points. I mean, he might have been the points leader. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Joseph Bryant was eighth. Adrian Becker ninth. And Trent Dunham is in tenth somehow. Enjoy it, Trent. Hopefully you'll, you'll stay up there. <laughs> and you see the rest of your standings. Your top 20. It's early, so there's not much to talk about. Because you'll see who runs good and who doesn't. Hopefully you look at your top 20. Just pause like you need to. Comment, guys, like you need to. Also, keep your rides. Because I'll start checking again. Because I haven't checked in a while. So I'm tired of changing drivers out. So... Please save me some time and don't, or please comment and don't refuse to or whatever because I don't want to have to replace you guys. There's 21st through 40th. Look through there. And then you go down to the bottom two. Well, actually. Samuel Mills and Zach Buchanan, they, they will be above the other two soon. But really just here's the top 40. They will be, when they pass those other cars, then I'll start showing it again. But... Like I said, since your guys' first race, it's not really much of a big deal right now. But, uh, yeah, there's your points. Ralph Green, congrats on winning, and now he's the points leader, so that kind of worked out. Jack Richards, second in points, car two, finished second. A lot of twos right there. <laughs> but, uh, that is it from there, and I'll see you guys next time at Charlotte. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed it. Congrats one last time, Ralph Green, and I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned. I believe the next race is on the schedule for me to do is the PORWC Cup Series race, so I'm just going to kind of alternate, but I'm going to start switching it up a little bit because kind of need to get through some of these races soon. But uh, stay tuned, guys, and thanks again for watching.